Hey guys, my name is Matthew. I want to give you a short review on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 from a reader's perspective. Let's get right into it. So this review is going to be from the perspective of a reader, and it's going to be basically a question of whether or not the Z Fold 4 is a useful tool for someone who reads a lot. Is this something that uh, could be useful for you? And I'm going to give you this review in three parts. The first part is going to be pretty short. I just want to I guess calm some of your fears surrounding this device. It's cutting edge and it's new and you may not have had a folding device before. And I had some concerns about it when I got it and I just wanna calm some of those fears. So that's part one. Part two is gonna be whether or not this device is a Kindle replacement device, whether or not this device can be used for reading your traditional long form books, if that, if that makes sense. And then part three will be for consuming other types of content. And really I'm gonna be talking about um, where this device excels, what this device is really good at, and if if this device is, is right for you. The Fold 4 is honestly pretty stinking sweet. If I was a tech YouTuber, I'd say I've been daily driving this thing for a while. Uh, it, the reality is I've just been using it. Um, I haven't been babying it or whatever. I, I was worried, I guess, when I first got it about the durability of it and it's usefulness is kind of i think of it as emerging tech still and so like it wasn't gonna have a lot of software glitches is the thing actually useful and i just like i said i want to calm some of your fears surrounding those things it, i don't baby this thing i just use it every day i use it like i would any other phone that i've ever used before it's not falling apart i, I know people who've had them for a long time the dur durability is not not the fold four I, I know someone who's had the fold three for over a year the, the durability of these things is not i think an issue and it's not like a gimmicky piece of technology that is cool in, in theory, but not actually cool to use. It's really cool. So this device is amazing, but the thing I want you to maybe think about for the rest of this review is it currently runs with an $1,800 price tag. That's US dollars. I don't think it's worth that. If I'm just being honest, I don't think it's worth almost $2,000. And that's for like the base model without any you know upgrades. I picked mine up for a fraction of that amount. And so I think if you are considering this device, obviously if you've got the money and you don't care, go spend the money. But for me personally, I, if you can't find it for less than $800 somewhere with trading deals or with um, maybe a, a used, someone selling it or whatever, I would think about going somewhere else. As an e-reader, this device functions, it's great. Uh, you guys know the Kindle app runs on any phone. It runs on a laptop. It runs on whatever. It, I mean, you can read with this device without an issue. But I don't think this is a Kindle replacement device if you read a lot of ebooks. At least for me personally, it just wouldn't do that. It still has all the shortfallings of something that is not an e ink reader, right? It still has the eye strain issues. It still has the wrong kind of light. Um, it's honestly not even the perfect real estate. It's a little bit small for reading in my opinion, um, and it doesn't have quite the right factor. It doesn't have physical buttons for turning pages, which for me is really important in a Kindle. And so it's way better than some other devices, right? It's better than a laptop. It's better than your traditional phone because it does have a bigger aspect ratio. It does have a, a more real estate. There's even something psychologically about the fact that this thing folds out, uh, you know, kind of looks like a book with that fold in the middle. But the reality is I just don't think it does it for me for a regular Kindle, right? If I'm sitting at home and I have a Kindle on my right hand side and the Fold 4 on my left, I'm reaching for the Kindle every single time. Now, where this device does excel as a Kindle reader and where this device does do really well is if I'm at the doctor's office. I'm probably not gonna bring my Kindle into the doctor's office. I would have in the past, if I'm being honest. But now I don't because I have a Fold 4. Right, and so this with, with this folding phone device, I just grabbed into the Kindle. Obviously, all these things sync, right? So wherever I was reading the book at home, I open my phone and it synced to the same page, and I just start reading from there. When I'm standing in line at the supermarket, I know I'm a dweeb and I read in weird places, but if I'm standing in line at the supermarket, I would never pull out my Kindle, but I would pull out my phone and read on my phone. And especially now that I've got this bigger real estate space, it feels like I'm kind of reading a book. Again, not as good as a Kindle, but I'm not bringing my Kindle to the supermarket while I'm standing in line. So I was at Aldi the other day and I was literally reading a book in line at Aldi. Cool. Basically, this device is good, I think, as a backup. Anywhere that you wouldn't bring a Kindle typically, or maybe somewhere you would have brought a Kindle in the past, but you don't wanna bring two devices. 
This device I think is perfect for that. The Fold 4 is great for being something you can take with you on the go and read the book that you were gonna read anyway. This is not a Kindle killer. Maybe a Kindle supplementer. Maybe if you like to read on the go, maybe when you're traveling and you don't wanna bring a Kindle with you, yes, but it's not a Kindle killer. So where is this device better than a Kindle? Well, we've talked before on this channel about how people don't necessarily read as much as they used to in a traditional format. We see lots of studies about people reading fewer books than they ever have in the past, but I don't think that means we're not reading as much as we used to. We consume content in different ways than we used to. For instance, a lot of people spend time scrolling on social media. And whether you think of that as important or good reading or not is one thing, but it is reading. You actually do a lot of reading that you maybe don't even think about. Anytime you're scrolling through BuzzFeed or running through Facebook or Instagram, you're reading things constantly. And I think this device excels at reading content from the internet. There is something really, really nice about this device, and I, and I don't want to overstate it, but it really is nice when you click into an article and you see more lines per page. The aspect radio, ratio is way better for reading articles, including research articles. I've actually found I enjoy reading research articles. If you have to read through PDFs, if someone sends you a PDF for editing articles or essays, this device is really, really nice because of its aspect ratio. And, and especially if you're mobile, if you're on the go, it's really, really ideal for that. So where this device really excels is consuming content, I think especially on the internet. I think it may be better than a tablet for that because of its size, because of how small it is, and then though it still has that bigger aspect ratio, I think it's really, really nice. And so an iPad, especially a larger iPad, it feels clunky and a little bit heavy. You don't necessarily wanna hang that thing above your head while you're in bed or things like that. Whereas this device is small enough that I feel like you can actually do that. So this has been my review on the Fold 4 specifically for reading. What do you guys think? Will you use this device as a Kindle replacement or is this something where maybe you've never had a Kindle before and you're now taking this opportunity to use it as a Kindle? Let me know what you think. And let me know what you think about that price tag too. Is this even a conversation with it being an $1,800 device?